What's up everybody? It's me, Tarek, the Electro Creator, again, with a brand new episode of the Electronic Project Club. It's right over here. It's unboxed. Well, it's actually boxed, but boxed then. Now, guys, last time we have done the comparator and the window comparator, and today we're going to continue on the next project. I don't know their name because I can't actually, like, think fast. Now guys, before I start the video, I want to tell you something that's very important. You've heard about a game that's called Fortnite. Now, this game is like when a hundred people land in a battle royal game, or like creative or save the world, they have fun playing it. But when they lose or do something bad to other, they start raging and break stuff. I, rem I remember someone who the final circle, and someone has killed him. He got angry, he broke everything. He got super powerful rage. That means he's so addicted to the game. I played with someone, my, and then I tried my hardest to make him imp to make him impressed with me because I'm actually a good player. But I actually play Fortnite for fun. Like you see, last time when I was playing Fortnite, I've been spamming a lot and a lot. But right now, I I've heard that I made a terrible mistake playing it. I'm just playing it for having fun. But but the guy when I played with him, he got so aggressive when I when I played with him. When I lost, he got so angry then he then he, then he screamed at me, shouted and spammed at me. I got I didn't I didn't like him a lot, so I just blocked him. Then never played with him until he comes to me and then he comes to me. Like, no guys, I've. I'm never gonna play with this guy ever again until he says sorry, because this game is so addictive. I play it only for fun, and I don't like it so much. Now guys, what are we waiting for? Let's start with the next series of the Electronic Project Lab. Now guys, over here you can see the Electronic Project Lab, like I say every video. Now guys, uh, do you remember when I told you that we were working on the comparator and the window comparator? Uh, I was just kidding, the comparator was in another video. Last time, we have worked on the window comparator and the winking LED. The winking LED is just like the police car when those like, lights go on and off at the same time. Not at the same time, difference. Today, we're going to be starting off with a brand new project called the Light Dimmer. In this project, Q1 acts as an amplifier. The strength of an input current supplies to, to Q1's base after LED 1's brightness. As the input current increases, LED 1 brightens. As the current decreases, LED 1 darkens. If we connect the wires according to the wiring sequence, then 100 capacitors and 1K ohms and 22K ohms resistors control the input current until you press the key the input uh, the key is over here the key the input current falling to the to, Q, to q1 equals zero so that one does not light now guys we're gonna start off with the project it's very easy i've got a note over here that says i always need a full light to, br to brightness uh, uh, full light brightness so i can see my work so i can work my work easily now let's start with the writing sequence. Number one, all the way to number 71. Here is number one, it's in the LEDs, and 71 is in the captators. So let's do it. I've done it, I've done it like I said, uh, from number one all the way to number 71. Let's continue on with next. 71 all the way to number 40. Number 40 is right over here, so we'll be needing the blue wire. So let's do it. There we go. As you can see, I've done number seven all the way to number forty. Now let's continue on with next number number three all the way to number nineteen. Where is number three? It's right over here in the LEDs. Where is number nineteen? It's right in the transistors. We'll be only we'll meaning the red one. So let's do it. Now, guys, I've plugged it from number three to number nineteen. Now for the next one, number seventeen all the way to number seventy nine. Where is number 17? It's right over here. And where is number 79? It's right over here. I think we should try out the red one. If it's too long, we'll be needing the blue one. So let's do it. Guys, it turned out I'll be needing the blue one to do it from number 17 all the way to number 79. So let's continue on with next. Number 18 all the way to 108. Yeah, the distance is very, very far away, so we'll be needing the yellow one. So let's do it. Now I've plucked it from number 18 all the way to 108. Let's go with. Let's continue on with next. Number 108 all the way to number 45. It's in the battery section, and I was in the key. So we'll be needing the red one. So let's do it. I've I've plucked it from number 109 all the way to number 45. Now for the next one. 
Number 72 all the way to number 80. Where is number 72? It's right over here. Where's number 80? It's right over here. We'll use the red ones. There's no need to use the blue ones. So, the, I mean the white ones. So let's do it. Now I've unplugged it. I've plugged it from number 80 all the way to number 72. Now for the next one. Number 80 all the way to 91. The, the, the distance is so short. So we'll be needing the, the, what do you call it, white one. So let's do it. As you can see, I've plugged it from number 80 all, all the way to 91. So let's continue on with next. Number 92 all the way to 109. So let's do it. But guys, do you remember guys when I said number number 108 all the way to number 45? It was wrong. I did it from 109. So we should swap places. Sorry for the mistake. Now for the next one. 109 all the way to number 92. Here's 109. Like I told you. And here's 92. Now for the for now for the final sequence number number forty two all the way to thirty four. Now guys, I have I have done this project good. Now I have, now I have to see if it's working or not. As you guys see, when I've done the project, the light is turned on. As you can see over here. But when I press this button again, it keeps turning on. There's no chance for it to go off. Well, the project over here says, press the key. It, this completes the current follow path. You might expect to let one light instantly. Does this happen? Let one does not light instantly because charging current flows in the capacitors first. Input current cannot follow to Q1 until 100, uh, until 100 capacitors begin charging. So LED one does not light. Uh, so LED one does not light as the capacitors cha charge. The charging current decreases input current to Q1 in the crease, and, and the current flows to LED one. The LED one gradually brightens. If we release the key, the capacitor begins to discharge, and the light begins to turn off. Like it's right now turned on, but it's right it gets turned off. I press the key, it gets charged very fast. But now when I turn but now when I release the key, the capture is sent to discharge. Sending an input current to Q1 as the current discharges the input current reduces to zero and gradually turns off Q1 and LED1. If we press the key again, the light gradually brightens and it reaches full brightness. At this point, the capacitor is fully charged. I wrote over here on the notes that I told you about last time. Now guys, I have done this project. It was a bit uh, like uh, big. The next one is going to be the strobe light, which I'm going to do it in my next video. So today is going to be the end of the video. So let's pop on to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope to see you again soon. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you don't miss another video. <laughs> the project, look. It discharges like I told you last time. I've been working my hardest to make this video, and it's been so long since I make videos. And goodbye.